peeps? It's your girl, Dodge. Come back to Parental Takes. Well, it looks like we have a trailer that's dropped for a movie titled Luce. Don't know anything about this one. Definitely going in blind with this one. I did see a thumbnail and it's starring Octavia Spencer. I see she has a couple things coming down the pike. Of course, her movie right now is just out called Ma. So I'm curious to see what this one's about. I'm not sure who else is actually cast. So you know what? Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll see the rest of my thoughts at the end, you guys. When I first met my mother, she couldn't pronounce my name. Yeah, my father suggested Turn that they rename me. Okay. They picked loose. Loose, okay. Which means light. Something is okay. If you Google model student, Lucifer's picture would come up on the computer. Given Lucifer's background, you and Peter must have faced quite a few challenges. The language barrier, the culture shock. I mean, you don't pull a kid out of a war zone and have him turn out like Luce without a lot of help. Which is why this is so difficult. Difficult? Last week, he wrote a paper in which he argued that violence was a necessary cleansing source. Do you, you teach this? I don't. Oh. What? Just something's going on, and I want to be in front of it. She thinks I'm a poster boy. Black kid who overcame his tragic past. You really don't like her, do you? Okay. What about a responsibility to tell the truth? you guys this trailer literally has me mind blown i love everything about this trailer this movie i most definitely plan to see i kept staring at the young boy because i recognized his face and i know finally realized where he is from he was in a movie i saw i want to say came out maybe almost two years ago and it was called it comes at night i knew he looked familiar and i could figure it out this gentleman is named kevin harrison jr he was really good in it comes at night even though the overall premise was creepy the overall um outcome of the movie left to be a lot to be desired there but needless to say moving from that um he did like i said a great job in this this one right here definitely looks like it's going to be good i am happy this casting him of course octavia spencer tim roth and naomi watts that is enough for me you clearly see that he of course is their son they basically, you know, took him in as their child from what looks like to be um, a war-torn, you know, African country. And needless to say, you know, he seems like he's, you know, you know, the darling of, of the high school, you know, of his school, whatever, like the all-star student, so to speak, or whatever, you know, great, you know, in academia, you know, definitely an athlete or whatever. And all that kind of starts to slowly change a little bit in regards to the overall persona, the way he is... Um, perceived all because he wrote some sort of paper where he talks about violence feeling that you know something of a cleansing of sorts when she said that and then him you know feeling a certain way but then there's certain things that you can tell are happening the scene where Naomi Watts is talking to a girl like there's certain parts or certain things that they see because the parents are not around him so they might see other situations that are happening with other kids whatever the way he carries himself and deals with them with him when he's with his parents they're probably seeing a certain side of him that they just can't believe that this is true with Octavia Spencer playing the teacher 
is bringing uh, to the forefront, you know, trying to, you know, ex tell the parents, you know, this is what happened, he wrote this, you know, do you understand how your son feels from what he wrote in this paper? This is true. Then you see him in some ways confronting her, making, you know, his, you know, feelings known about, you know, do you really, you know, think I believe in, you know, what I wrote in this paper? And probably to some extent, he probably does, and he wrote this paper, but it's something in that paper that really has set off something with her that she feels like they don't understand there's some residuals. I'm really feeling like whatever he wrote in that paper, if they delve into that in the actual movie and we hear a little bit more of it as opposed to her just saying that one scene with Naomi Watts' character, the mother, that will make me understand, okay, he came from, like I said, a war tour the African country. That means he saw stuff. What age was it when they adopted him and brought him over as, his, as their son? That will play a part as well. I want to feel like he must have been very young, but not young enough that he didn't realize or knew what was happening, you know, from, you know, where he, he truly was from, seeing what happened maybe to, you know, of course, to his actual, you know, parents, his birth parents, you know, if he had any siblings or he's the only one left, what actually happened? Something traumatic happened, but he's, of course, grown up. He's had a great life. His name is Luce. So I'm just curious about this. I am beyond curious to see how this is all going to unravel. Of course, the vandalizing, you know, her thinking, you know, it's him. We don't know for certain, but for to say the teacher who's probably, you know, well, like whatever, all these years, no real issues, and all of a sudden they think it's all in her head. They think she's doing this, setting him, you know, so this is gonna be really interesting and seeing the buildup, the music, the way it was like a ticking, like of a clock or something and him running, how his face went from just a regular brisk run to looking like he was, you know, maybe angry or started to look like he was getting very emotional at the end of that run from the way the scene cut at the end of the trailer. So yes, this one, yeah, I didn't mean to talk a lot, but that one right there had me from once she spoke to his mother about the paper all the way to the end of that. That right there, because I said something seems like it's just too good. And now all of a sudden now we're seeing, you know, what's really going on. We're going to, you know, find something behind the curtain. And like I said, the casting's great. I haven't seen anything with Tim Roth in a minute, you know, and definitely um, a couple of things recently with Naomi Watts. But of course, you know, having all three of these individuals in this, and of course, Kevin Harrison Jr. playing this, I feel like Buddy Boy... <laughs> If he's playing his role like he looks like he is in this trailer, you know, he he might get nominated for a couple of things. This could be really interesting. Octavia might as well, too. So you never know because, yeah, there's a lot to, you know, decipher in this bad boy. And I'm here for it. So you guys comment below. Let me know what you all think. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care.